Hi, everybody. I wanted to take a look at the online research and media skills, the ORMS uh, MOOC that we've been working through. Uh, the idea is that we have the ORMS model, and I wanted to provide an opportunity for you to take a look at the ORMS model, what it looks like, what it could look like as it informs instruction in your classroom. Basically, what we're looking at is um, using technology in instruction in our content area at our grade level, um, and I want you to build product that um, has students uh, testing out or exhibiting some of the behaviors. So basically what we're looking at is, and I'll focus on module two at this point. Um, I know right now that's what we're in. Uh, we just finished module one, but if we take a look at module two, um, at each point, module, uh, each module will basically pull up the opening page. Every single module should look the same way. Um, as you pull it up, there is a video here in the middle that basically walks you through all the stuff that um, I'm talking about now. We have learning outcomes here. Uh, you can see where I'm headed. This is basically me trying to guide you as you uh, figure out you know, best pedagogical options. Uh, Pre-survey at the bottom. Um, so for each module, basically, you have a series of resources that you would work through. Uh, I start off, so this week, this module is Online Collaborative Inquiry. Uh, I give you a, a PowerPoint below to talk about exactly what this would look like. I have a video uh, of me talking through the PowerPoint. Uh, basically, a short lecture to give you an overview of what, you know, in this case, Online Collaborative Inquiry would look like. Uh, we have a series of readings uh, that are open and online, and you can take a look at. We also have a series of videos. Um, Basically, the idea is that you, as the learner, need to figure out what pieces you want to look at, read, listen to, etc. Um, so for this module, for online collaborative inquiry, if you listen to my lecture, my 20 minutes, and you think that I have explained everything to the best of you know my ability and that it makes sense to you and you don't need to watch any of these videos or read any of the pieces, great. If you feel like you, you need to read more and watch more and listen to more, that's even better. I think you do. There's a reason why I built all this up. Um, also, I think that there are other voices out there online. So, for example, in online collaborative inquiry, this is all about students collaborating, co-constructing information. Uh, I am not the only voice out there online that talks about this. Go online and research other people. See what other ha people have to say. Tweet different people and see what they have to say. Um, and, and so basically that gives you an idea of what this all means, but it also makes you the guide and the, you know, you control your own learning. So after you spend a couple days to a week and you've researched and you've read and you've thought about this and you've synthesized it all, uh, there are two main activities that you need to uh, complete to get through each module. Okay. So I know with some of these different classes, we'll have uh, networked learning project or other activities. Um, this is not talking about that. This, you know, what I'm about to explain is just the the assignments for the ORMS MOOC. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is after you've read and researched and talk about all these materials and thought about it, um, I want you to have you know minimum of one post. You know, if you if you need more space, more web pages or more posts to discuss your feelings, great. If you can knock it out in one post, that's fine with me. I want you to post it to your own blog. The reason why, uh, and some people get confused, the reason why I want you to have it be your own personal blog is I want you to have control of that information. So if this MOOC disappears, if I disappear, if uh, Google Plus as a community disappears, you still have access to your content, okay? Um, and so I want you to take that blog post share it out online to Twitter, to Google Plus, to Facebook, um, and by all means, share it to our Google Plus community so we all can take a look at um, and listen to and, and think about your ideas and you can help us think about the content that we're, we're reading and thinking about. So that's the first level, is read everything, read as much as you need to, reach out to other areas and reflect. I basically give you a basic prompt um, but if you know me, uh, you know that I am more interested in your thoughts and your feelings. Um, so this is basically me trying to provide support and scaffolding for those of us that 
really don't understand what direction I'm heading. If you read some of this and you have a really big question that, that irks you, I want to know about it. I would rather you have you have you write for 45 minutes to an hour about that than my prompt. But that's up to you. After you do that, the second part in each module, um, there are there, there is a work that you submit for a badge. So uh, when we're looking at the ORMS model, we have online collaborative inquiry, online reading comprehension, online content construction. We've already talked about multimodal tutorials in module one. So for this example. In online collaborative inquiry, what I want you to do is create some work product. I want you to think about a class that you currently teach or you would like to teach. Think about uh, a unit or a theme um, or a lesson plan that you would teach with your students. And I want you to think about how could I integrate online collaborative inquiry into this unit, into my grade level, into my content area. And I want you to create work that you would actually have students uh, complete. So, uh, you know, the, the, the example that I give all the time is I worked, you know, and created a unit on social studies and the use of Twitter for elections. Um, so I want you to think about a unit that you have to teach, content you have to teach, and figure out, okay, how can I integrate online collaborative inquiry into my work? So for my example about social studies and Twitter and elections, I can think about having students collaborate and co-construct a wiki for the class. Um, and had them research together, you know, and write together online as a group. So there's students that are collaborating, they're co-constructing information using digital tools. Um, and so to apply for this badge, you would basically put together either a lesson plan or tutorials or, um, you know, worksheets, scaffolding materials, um, a unit plan, whatever is the best use of your time. This is stuff that I want you to be able to use in your classroom. Build me a great lesson plan. You know, build me the worksheets that go along with it. Put all this content up on your blog, up on your website. Once again, the reason why I'd rather have it there and you share out from there is in case all of this other stuff disappears, you still have your website, you have your blog. So build all of this content, build it up to the extent that you could walk into your classroom tomorrow or next year and you can have your students getting involved in some online collaborative inquiry, build that content up, get it ready to go, share it on your website, and then share that link out online and to Google Plus to the community so we can see it. The last place that you're going to want to share it is to the Google group. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing for some people. Um, all of the work and all of our activities we'll share here in Google Plus in the community. But in terms of the, the badges themselves, this Google group is a way for us to keep track of the individual badge submissions. So you've done all the work. Everything is already done at this point. You've shared out your reflection. You've shared out your badge uh, work. You know, you share out your lesson plan or however you're going to use online collaborative inquiry. Uh, you've shared that out on your blog and, and your website, and you're all ready to go. The last thing you're going to want to do for the module is, you know, if you take a look at the individual badges, this is the collaborative inquiry badge. If you take a look at the individual badges, you want to be able to see what the badge entails um, and earn that badge. So the way that you do that is you take a link out uh, and you can see what Dan has already shared down here. I want to get one that I've already reviewed. So it's pretty simple. It's basically you say, hey, I created this multimodal tutorial, or I created this lesson plan for online collaborative inquiry. Here is the link for it. This is the sort of content. It's for social studies. It's for math. It's for science. It's for middle school, high school, beyond. Um, this is my work. Please take a look at it. See if it, you know, uh, merits a, a badge being awarded, and then basically send that out. I'll review it and then basically give you some feedback and award the badge. If I don't award the badge, I'll give you some feedback and then have you basically tweak it and get the badge completed. Um, so once again, as we work through uh, the different modules, uh, you know, the Digging Deeper page has the initial uh, video lecture with the PowerPoint. I have readings and video galleries. Um, this is all on your own time, at your own pace, at your own speed. Then you look at, you think about it all and think about what it means to you. Um, you know, have text or have Storify clips or have video. 
and basically share that out on your own uh, post and tell me what this all means to you and reflect and talk with others over here in our Google Plus community. And then uh, the, the second week or the, the final submission for each module is you basically create work that you would use with your students. So if you want to have your students getting involved in doing some online collaborative inquiry, how would you do it? You're the expert in your grade level. You're the expert in your content area. What would you have them do? Create work. I want to see actual work that you would give to your students. Okay, I don't, I don't really care about what I think about it. I want to know what your middle school or, or high school or you know elementary students would be doing with your work. What would you give them? That's the most powerful piece because I want you to create something that you would use in your class with your students. Um, and then you take that badgeable material, you share it out to our Google group. I review it. I go through and figure out, okay, is this, is this worthy of a badge? I award the badges. You get the email. Um, and basically the idea is that you want to be able to create content that you will use in your classroom with your students, put it up on your blog or your website. Uh, so we have five modules. Module one is multimodal tutorials. That's you creating a tutorial and screencast just like I've created here for you. Uh, the three major facets or cornerstones of the ORMS model are online collaborative inquiry. That's students collaborating, co-constructing information. Online reading comprehension is students uh, is questioning, locating, evaluating, synthesizing, communicating information. And online content construction is basically students constructing, re redesigning, reinventing online texts. It's basically the writing and the creative side of using digital tools. Um, and then finally, the digital identity part is all of this work that you're doing over time. You're building your website, you're building your blog, you're building uh, and you're sharing and creating online, earning digital badges. At the end of this, you get the digital identity badge just saying, hey, here's my blog, here's my website. Um, so the idea is that these four modules here, each one of those you're creating work that you would use with your students and share with your students. I would advise you to create work and share work that all links together. So you create one giant unit, one giant lesson plan or series of lesson plans you would use with students. That way, when you walk into your classroom, you have a really nice unit that you can focus on a lot of different things with your students. And then the digital identity piece at the end, that last module, talks about how do you build up your, your online brand and your digital identity. Okay, So at the end of this, what we're looking at is a model, an instructional model, to take a look at using technology in the classroom. You're going to figure out what this works, what this looks like, and create content that you would use with your students. Uh, along the way, we're going to be building up a website or a blog. We're going to be discussing here in the Google Plus community and openly online if you choose to. Uh, we're going to be earning badges along the way. And, you know, the, the way that we keep track of that is through the Google group. So once again, this is just an overview of the ORMS model, uh, the ORMS MOOC. Uh, this is a way for us to play with the model and see what works and see how this looks in our classroom with our students in our content area in our grade level and figure out how can we make this thing happen in our classroom? How can we make this uh, come to life in our classroom with our students? And so if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments to the video or the comments to the blog post or up in Google Plus and hopefully this helps out.